Good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, we are fixing to leave Steinbock. Manitoba, that is. We just filled the truck up over here at the co op. <clears throat> now we're uh, gonna be making our way down to Dryden, Ontario. Yes, indeed. I'm just looking at my camera there, it looks like it's got a bit of a different settings than what I am used to, so I'm not sure what kind of setting that is, but whatever. We'll uh, have to look at that at a later time. <clears throat> but yeah, we are going to go to Dryden, in Ontario. We are currently empty, so we're just going to go down there empty. Continue on this road for 16 kilometers. And then over there we usually do a trailer switch. So we don't generally have to wait over there for uh, for anything. So usually the load is ready over there. I can generally just pick up my trailer and get out of there, right? So I appreciate you guys tuning in today. So that's coming right along with the Trucker Rudy show today, if you wouldn't mind. Let's have ourselves a fantastic day together, guys. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? I am now in Ontario. Yep. And we got beautiful sunshine over here. We got us another about 45 minutes worth of driving to do. And then we'll be in ride in Ontario. That's right. Speed warning. We'll go see if... Uh, we can just do our trailer switch like we normally do. Mind you, I do have all the paperwork and everything for it. So that generally means that the load is ready. I do have the seal number and everything, so should be ready to go. But it's a gorgeous day out here today. Just absolutely beautiful. Nice, sunny. I love it. I love it. Although we don't have us a super long trip, but We'll see exactly how we will go about it, but I actually wouldn't mind going up to Toronto from there and then that would give me some good miles, at least half decent miles. And since today is only the 30th, I can actually work till uh, the 3rd and still call in my miles and get paid for these miles. So that would be awesome. Yes, indeed that would be. But, as you guys can see, it's a narrow road up here for the most part. Every once in a while you get a little bit of a passing lane like you got here, but other than that, it's pretty much zigzagging up and down through these rocky hills up here. Not really mounds, but, you know, hills. But yeah, let's make our way down to Dryden and show you some goodies. I am now loaded and ready to rumble. Yeah! We finished doing our trailer switch here and ride in Ontario. The trailer was all ready to go, so that's fantastic news. That's the way we like it, right? So now we got us probably about 2 hours and 15 minutes worth of driving to the border. And then we'll be in the United States of America again. Yeah. We just did a reset and go again this trip, so well, it was a little bit over a reset and go, but you know, you know how it goes. I mean, I don't want to leave at midnight, so. So yeah, here we are. Putting the hammer down to the United States. We will be crossing International Falls, Minnesota this trip. And uh, we might show you that, we might not, who knows, but I mean I've shown that so many times already. Going across that railway track up there. But you know we always get new people on here, they, they don't go all the way.
way back and watch all of my videos so it takes a while right to see every one of them so got over 800 videos on my youtube channel so it would definitely take you a few hours to watch all of them i guarantee you that that'd be something if you had nothing to do or you were bored or you were sick or something like that you were sitting somewhere and you couldn't do nothing yeah if you would though take you a few weeks to watch all of them I almost guarantee you that <laughs> but anyways here we are making our way down south I am now coming into the area of Speed Fort morning. Francis limit reduced ahead Ontario yeah beautiful lake up here towards the right although you can see it's a little windy out there on the lake today it looks like the water is uh, moving pretty good I don't know why GPS says speed warning up here they used to have a little construction right here and they had lowered the speed limit and no, I guess they never updated it it's still 80 speed limit up here and I'm only doing 60 and he's saying speed warning <laughs> so I don't get it but whatever so don't get excited if you hear the GPS saying speed warning it's just because the GPS is incorrect today yep that's the way it is but oh, almost looks like they do have some more construction there again I guess they're always working on this bridge but hey, look at the beautiful lake we got up here. I would so love to go fishing one more time or camping before the end of the year, but or before the uh, summer is completely over, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll see. We'll see, I guess, before you know it, this lake will be frozen solid. We will just have to deal with it. We'll see snow again and all that good stuff, right? Yeah, it looks like they got it down to one lane up here. I did see a couple of boats here on the lake already. And I think there's another one just coming through over there. I did see him come through over there, so I don't know where they went, but... Oh yeah, I see him over there now. I don't know if the camera will show it, but they're over there to the left there on the water. Well, not a big boat there, but yeah, there's a little bit of a boat, so... Looks like there's over there, there's one over there going that way. I guess they're doing their last minute fishing, I guess. Hey, that's cool. But yeah, we only got a little bit to go and we'll be at the border already done quite a few driving hours today so I'll be happy once we're across the border we have better service up there and all that good stuff and but yeah let's get on down to the border and see what happens alrighty guys this is the border crossing right here this is what I was talking about earlier we're literally crossing the water up here going over a railway track going across the border I know I can't show you much more than this but uh, hey figured I show you a little bit of it and uh, right here a pass on the other side crossing is basically border. the border so Minnesota. gotta go talk to customs so we'll see you guys on the other side I am just going through Cook, Minnesota matter of fact I actually made a pit stop in here decided to make me a little break and have my half an hour off you know and it says a Tim Hortons up here ahead of us somewhere don't know exactly whereabouts it's at but hey we don't have time to stop in there now too right we just had us a stop so and it's the last thing we need right now is to stop at another place <laughs> Yeah, I still have 330 miles to go, so got me kind of like five hours to drive yet before I get to my delivery place, so wouldn't actually mind doing at least another two today, so that way it'd be down to three hours tomorrow at least, or three and a half or something like that. 
but make it a little easier for me. But yeah, here we are. Putting the hammer down. And here is another place where the GPS is incorrect with the speed limit. You just saw this speed limit sign there saying 65. GPS is also only showing a single road up here. And we got a two lane going each direction now. It's been <clears throat> they have updated this highway up here and made uh, two more lanes over there. But yeah. We've had a good day so far, I would think. Got us good uh, good driving in. <clears throat> Especially as late as we left. <laughs> Yeah, I only got out of time by I think about 9.30 or something like that, so So yeah You got a giver now, that's for sure Let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, we've been here for uh, our night now already. It's actually the next morning when we are videoing this. Yeah, just got up here a few minutes ago and it's a beautiful day. Yeah, we got here kind of late last night, so I was kind of tired, so didn't really feel like making my ending video, but hey, here we are, just standing on the edge of my truck, <laughs> finishing my video. So I appreciate you guys watching my video today, and uh, let's see what we're up to tomorrow, so don't go nowhere. I will go on everybody, this has been Trucker Rudy, signing out. behind me that day is gonna come